Hello and welcome to today's show of ZFF Daily. Film festivals with its Hollywood stars are known to be glamorous, but there's also a different side to it. The real stars in our next clip are tough investigative journalists fighting for justice. The Boston priest molested kids in six different parishes over the last 30 years. The church found out about it and did nothing. We haven't committed any long-term investigative resources to the case. No, we haven't. And that's the kind of thing your team would do. Spotlight? Spotlight is the portrait of a redaction. I know there's things you cannot tell me. Einer Stadt. But I also know there's a story here. And I think everybody Einer here Enthüllung. Do you think you're Eine Geschichte über Journalismus und über den Mut, die Wahrheit zu sagen. It's about, first of all, I think about um, investigative journalism, which is very important, is really suffering because of the uh, internet. Basically the story of the Boston Globe newspaper doing an expose about the Catholic Church covering up the pedophile scandal in 2001. And it's also about why the community didn't, how it was possible to cover up such a big story. And there were so many people that turned a blind eye to it because it's such an unpleasant subject. If there were 90 of these bastards, people would know. Maybe they do. They knew, and they let it happen. It could have been you, it could have been me, it could have been any of us. On the other side of the world, despite strict censorship and state restriction, Iranian cinema is booming. I talked to Atomic Heart director Ali Amadzadeh. نه خب طبیعتا اینا هم شما میدونین هم من میدونم که محدودیت هایی توی ایران وجود داره و خب صحبت کردن راجع به خیلی چیزا ممنوع خیلی از فیلم ها از این خطوط ممنوع رد میشن خیلی ها سعی میکنن اون ما به این یه حرفایی بزنن و نزنن یه سری هم یه حرفایی نمیزنن ولی کلا خب صحبت کردن راجع به خیلی از چیزا ممنوع و فیلم سازی خب برای سخته مثلا همین فیلم من و فیلم اولم توی ایران توقیف یعنی نمیتونه نمایش شده بشه. Tell us more about uh, your current movie Atomic Heart that you uh, that you're presenting here at the Zurich Film Festival. How did the project come together? Where did you get the inspiration to create this film? به همیشه ایده یک فیلم از جای میاد دیگه یعنی که یه موقع یک صحنه است یه موقع یه اتفاقی واقعی که میفته. اما من یه فیلم قبل از این ساخته بودم به اسم مهمونی کامی که در واقع این فیلم یه جورایی ادامه مسیر اون فیلم یعنی ادامه یه مسیریه که اون فیلم هم راجع به یه بخشی از جوانای مدرن امروزی بود تو این فیلم هم سعی کردم اون مسیر رو ادامه بدم Not too far away from Iran two young Syrians meet in a prison fall in love and become a family British filmmaker Sean Spring followed the activist with a camera and made a touching documentary called A Syrian Love Story. I actually bumped into him one night in a bar having a beer and he was taking a telephone call from somebody and I said to him after the call, who was that? And he said, it's my wife, she's in prison. And I said, wow. And uh, he said, you know, you want to make a film in Syria that's truthful? You want to come and film me? And so that's how it started. I love her more than anyone can love anybody. He cannot find anybody understand him like me. I was so inside the family, I was then filming everything really. I mean, Amma said in one of the questions and answers that he took part in, that he sometimes imagines I'm filming in his dreams <laughs> because the camera has been so present inside their life all the time. But it had become an invisible, an invisible tool, really. I was just there witnessing everything. Watching a film like this and having the privilege of living with Bob since he was three until he was eight, seeing him grow up in all of those different situations. Hopefully, when you look at refugees on the news, you'll think of this family and actually realize that all of those Refugees are human beings too. We hope you enjoyed today's show and we're looking forward to welcoming you back tomorrow, 7 p.m., same place, same time, for another ZFF Daily. 
If you like today's show, why not give us a thumbs up and subscribe our channel. See you tomorrow and take care.